Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to the 27th of November. It's Saturday. I'm here to tell you, there's not going to be any rides today. It hasn't stopped raining all morning. It's just a very light mist out here at the moment. <laughs> We're going to mess around. Look, not a leaf in that tree. Not, oh, there's a couple hanging up there, but they're, they're long gone. They just ain't falling out yet. We're going to mess around with Flirty out here and uh, see if we can make, make sure those uh, grips will work with that. Well, I'll explain it to you here in a second. The grips at the position six will uh will draw 2.8 amps well i never go over two i've turned it on three to get them going a couple times before but beyond that there's literally never been a condition that i needed grips that hot but um so anyway it's the same grip kit exactly the same kit these were on my 15 street glide, my 17 street glide, and now on the Road King. And uh, it'll be the same set for this. But in the connection kit for actually even for this, that thing's been updated. And the part number is the same, the kit number, but there's an A added to the end. It has been updated. And what the update is, is where you have these three wires. There's a ground, a 12 volt, and then a keyed hot. So there's a hot, 100% hot and a keyed hot wire that you can put accessories to. And you have this four pin like Deutsch connector over here. The A coupler, remember yesterday I thought something was missing. Well, there is. So you got the coupler that ties into the bike. This is an accessory coupler. These are accessory wires, so you can plug in whatever. And then there's another wire that uh, pulls off, and it's one of those Molex, or whatever the heck they call them, connectors. And it's also the kind of the same setup as these, but it's, it's a smaller plug-in. Well, I can't find, I just went out, I searched through Came back out here, searched through my boxes, and I have another place where I have some Harley stuff. And I don't have any of the wires. I must have tossed them or something. Because the heated grip kits come with three different wires. One of them's a jumper and whatever. But anyway, it, it links all that to this kit. And the reason you put this accessory kit in is this isolates... Whatever you plug into this connection kit through this 10 amp fuse. And this will connect directly to the battery. And then when you plug this in, this will go into a ground. Um, the coupler here, you're going to add this 12 volt to it. And this is, you know, directly off the positive side of the battery. So it's 12 volt constant. And then depending on where you plug it in here, it's whether it's keyed or not. You have the lavender with blue, that's keyed hot. The red with a blue line is hot all the time, and the black is ground. But anyway, you see the same wires there. The only thing it's missing at this point is the 12 volt hot all the time. And that gets added to the coupler that's in the wiring harness of the bike. But this is missing where this tees off, and you have the separate wires. There's another coupler with a version A of this kit that goes off, and it's a smaller coupler instead of this four-pin Deutsch-type connector. But <laughs> I don't think this is, I don't think the connector for this is in the grip kit. So I think this, uh, the 1599A, um, I think that's a coupler that the, um, the jumpers out of the switch just plugged straight into it. I did find an option, however. I have no idea where this even goes. It's obviously a BRP product of some sort. But that's the Deutsch connector for the opposing side. So I could take the jumper, and these are very waterproof. 
Now, they don't take blasting at a car wash, but you can see that is that is the opposing end to it. So what I could do, if the jumper doesn't come with it, I can adapt it over to this this coupler. And at work, I may even have the little female pins that go down in there to uh, convert that thing over real easy. And there's a nice waterproof connector. This gets people all the time. We had a, a used Harley that someone that's not familiar with Harleys <laughs> uh, tried to swap the battery. If you have a security system and you have a key fob, there's no buttons on it, it's just a proximity sensor and you know sets of security and whatnot. If you're going to disconnect the battery for any reason, you need to preset the bike. So, key, oh, it's locked. Hang on now. Turn the bike on. Make sure the security light goes out. If it's flashing, it, it's not It's not seeing the fob. So, seize the fob. The, ar the alarm is now disabled. On the left side, sometimes they're under the seat if you got an old twin cam soft tail. They're in different places, so know where your main fuse is. With the bike on, the alarm, the fob nearby, the alarm disabled, just yank that fuse. Now, everything's off, because I just shut the whole bike down. Just turn your key off. And when you hook it back up, make sure that your fob is nearby. And don't turn the bike on. Just turn the bike off. Just pretend nothing happened here. But before you have to get the battery, whatever you're doing with your electrical stuff, have the fob nearby. Put the fuse in. Turn the key on. And let it see the fob again. And that's it. Otherwise, the bike thinks you're trying to steal it. And you'll set the alarm off. Freak it out. I can't find that coupler. So I thought, well, same kits for this. So I, you know, loosen the bag, pull the side cover off. It's right where it's supposed to be. Should be just plugged in into a dummy hole and uh, ready for this to be plugged into it. Of course, I have to add that 12 volt wire to it. I have dug everywhere. That three pin coupler is nowhere on this thing. So I was gonna pull the battery tray. First thing I'm gonna go, I, uh, I have a manual for this thing. First thing I'm gonna do is go uh, dig around, make sure it's even back there. You know, why even take the battery apart? I got that all nice and zip tied and secure from when I put the tender lead in there, which is dangling right yonder. But where is the power port? I've looked all up there thinking, well, maybe it's got it hidden up front and I don't need any of this nope not up there I mean you have plenty of power this one goes to your um, alarm the siren not sure what this one goes to that's a dummy plug and then there's another one down below don't know what those go to so what I'm gonna do is look at the wiring diagram and see what I can figure out you know uh what these two go to this one and you can see the wires coming out it's underneath right there at the end of it sticking out so if i can sort this thing out then they change something in 21 sometimes their instructions don't keep up you know how for the street glides and road glides you don't need the connection kit finally the uh, instructions for the heated grips now show you where that's at because that's how I ended up with that. Because with the grips, it said that I need. It said that I needed that connection kit. Well, it's already pre-wired for it. But I don't see anywhere where this is pre-wired. I just want to poke around and make sure it's not there somewhere. I just haven't found it. According to the wiring diagram, it's got to be in there somewhere. It definitely has what they refer to as the 325B um, Molex. Oh, 
I couldn't remember what that was called earlier. Anyway, somewhere, this is 325A, 325B, it's in there somewhere. So like I was saying earlier, I guess I'll take the battery out of the way. It's a uh, violet, basically a purple and a blue stripe, and then one black ground. So essentially, <laughs> the connector will have these colors. Violet and blue, and a black. This will get added with that terminal, with this. Let's see if I can find it. I have literally gutted this thing out. There's the, the one for the uh, throttle that passes back up into the throttle side. <laughs> I pulled the battery out. I pulled everything out. I even took a peek underneath the big loom cover down there. I've looked all over. I mean, it's got to be here. And then I see something sliding up here i thought what watch it be something hiding under a tag look what's sitting right there that's the dummy cap for it that's <laughs> the molex plug right there at the bottom that's that's it oh my lord and Believable. I knew it had that cap on it. And then this, that pops into that. Boy, after taking this thing apart, it's gonna be fun stuffing the wires in this thing. And you'll notice <laughs> that there's a velvet, basically purple with a blue stripe and a solid black wire. And that little white pin out there in there you release this, this is kind of a, a, a lock cap, you pop it up and you push that little white dummy or a protective thing just keeps it clean and you plug that and snap that back in. Then when I put it back on, this provides uh, 12 volts to it, a solid 12 volts. Now the reality is really all I need for the grips is what's there because I'm only using the keyed uh, 12 volts and the uh, ground. But because this whole thing, it's, it's designed so you can add accessories and stuff to it, which you need to take that fuse out before you hook it up to the battery too. But uh, it just disarms that thing when you do that. But there's that Molex thing hiding underneath that relay. Right there where that little white, little clip hanger is right there. And I literally looked at this thing and seen that white tab. I said, watch it be hiding under something like that. And I swear I poked and pushed and stabbed and jotted everything. I have probably spent a couple hours out here looking that thing up. There it is. That was a lot of, but I got to take all this stuff off because you got to run the stuff up there anyway once the grips get here. Good thing it's not going to be nice the rest of the weekend for a ride because Kelly would come out here and cry. She hadn't even seen the state it's in. She'll, she'll probably gasp. All righty. Dang. I broke her bike, but I found what I was looking for. So you got the Deutsch connector, the loose wires. For whatever accessories, Molex plug together on both of these. This will run to the battery and supply a constant 12 volts for whatever accessory that might be. And there's a constant 12 volts going to this Deutsch connector. But I think the uh, the heated grips are gonna the jumper for the heated grips are gonna plug into the missing plug on the non. $15.99 uh, kit. That was an upgrade. But 
we'll work around that. We'll just use the, we'll, we'll make that Deutsch connector work. Or I'll just use these if I can do it nice and clean, which I can do. All right, that's that for that. Well, hello there, you two. She had a shock. She goes, you broke my flirty. He killed it, guys. She has seen her she eye. ripped her apart. She goes, did you really have to, you, you know where everything goes? <laughs> yeah. It's never going to go back the same. Most of that I had to take off anyway to run the power source up, up front. but Still a shocker. Yeah, I can't believe that port was that hard to find. If you're looking on the internet, it's talking about three, I think it's 325B. Because you're going to plug 325A, which is the connector. Um, refer back to this. It's buried. Yeah. It's hiding by that, re underneath this hole by that relay. It's crazy. It was in the general area it was supposed to be. Can't tell you how many times I went over all that. Nope, not there. It was there. Poor Hubba. Yeah, got it he all sorted out. Ideas. Yeah, I thought I might just go out there and. Just get that connection. Get it all ready. Yeah, get it ready. So uh, when the grips come in, I'll pop the tank off and route it through and run the wires through the bars and be done. Yeah, that was about 11, 12 o'clock <laughs> I was guys. I've in and out of here all day today. Going back, studying the wiring diagram. Great tea. <clears throat> but anyway, it's all sorted out. Yes. We'll get her hooked up. She'll have some heated grips. There we go. Poke your warm hands. Or hands are worth it there, Mama. I know. it. You spoil me. Yeah. They do work really good, though. Because the last nice. time we, I rode the Road King, I, I said, well, I ain't going to tell her I'm turning her on, but I'm going to turn it on. <laughs> see what it's like. She had her nice thick gloves on. I yeah. just had my little 100%. I thought, that your grips feel good. Whew. They work real good. Nice. She'll like it a lot. Can't wait. Yep. All right, so Lynette, we're going to bail out. Enough messing around with motorcycles. Yes, you need to rest. Enjoy your weekend. Yeah. All righty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up, and you guys have an amazing Sunday or Monday. Heck yeah. All right. Till tomorrow. We'll see you then. I won't spend all day on flirty yeah, out here. Yeah, do know, something I know you that. like. I'm, I'm where, I, where I need to be on that. All right. Took a while to find it. <laughs> All right. We'll see he you tomorrow. On a mission. Yep. Dang it. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching now. Bye bye.